Right, so a bit of something different, 101 camper. Originally, this will have been a, a battlefield ambulance like mine. Um, this is the original, like kind of the, the 101 uh, air portable platform. So um, yeah, 101 inch, so it's a bit shorter, but to make up for that, it's a, a cab over engine design. So yeah, you gain that little bit more room inside. So it's a really, really nice platform. Following it up the lanes and stuff, and this actually flexes really, really well compared to most leaf sprung vehicles that are followed. Uh, so yeah, let's let's have a little look through it and what they've done to it. So if you're anywhere near my size or six foot, anything like that, this isn't an option unless you put the seat way, way, way back because I really, really struggle getting in and out of this um, and even just changing gear because the distance between the clutch pedal itself and the bottom of the steering wheel is, this is made for Gurkhas or someone of that, that size. Um, but once you're kind of in it, it's, uh, it's bang on. Um, the, the upside is as well, you've got all the space, uh, whereas mine's got the bulkhead, and then that's the end of it, this incorporates the cab as well, so it feels a lot, lot bigger, and you've got that thing where you can have people in the rear of it while you're in the front, so you've got a lot of space to use. So in this one, it's got a 3.5 litre V8, uh, petrol, they're also running it on LPG as well, um, and they, they, they're getting decent miles per gallon out of it, and with the price of LPG, it kind of rounds out to like diesel prices, but you still get that lovely V8 purr to it. Upside is, you've got dual fuel there, downside is, it's not going to like water so much, so it's a bit of a trade-off of what you like, if you're a purist, you're going to keep the V8, and it sounds gorgeous coming through the little country villages. You've got all the creature comforts, um, you've got the, the little sink, you've got a couple of burners here, he's also got an outlet on the outside where he can plug in his um, camp stove, anything like that, and it all runs off the big LPG tank, which is really clever, it's a, it's a nice way of doing it, which is, it's mounted on the roof so you can kind of save space, um, we've got the little uh, fridge over here, and then we've got the power controls over on the front there. He's got 100 watts of solar and 220 amps of battery, so for something this size it's going to last well and with the sunlight coming in it's going to keep everything topped up lovely. where mine's lacking because I've built mine for me to go in but when I take anyone with me I end up sleeping on the floor or outside and everybody else takes the double bed. This has got the double bed and it's got the kids bed above so I think I'm gonna have to have a play with the uh, with the welder.